Joseph Escoiga Health Clinic is now doing some new things with the Guardian Angels. Uh, this is exciting. What can you share with us? So um, we're certainly um, very privileged to have the opportunity to provide some uh, street outreach uh, and early intervention care to the people that are approaching the Guardian Angels when they're out on the street walk. Um, so our, um, our goal of care is to provide early access to uh, interventions, um, general medical health, mental health care addiction treatment for high-risk individuals who are less likely to seek care. No. You were saying, we were talking earlier, that there's some issues that you're seeing already from the streets. What kind of things are you finding at the clinic that's here in downtown Calgary? Yeah, so we're seeing a lot of patients who are coming in presenting late. Um, for example, having an early infection, but presenting to the hospital when the infection has gone out of control and affected the heart valve. Or having that infection, you know, get into the joints or into the spine where that patient requires surgery. Um, and prolonged hospitalization, at six weeks up to three months at times for treatment, whereas if you had early access to care in a stigma-free um, environment that is right at that patient's level, perhaps we could have caught that infection earlier. Due to a lot of stigma and shame, often these patients don't present to care. They don't present to the emergency department. And if they're actively using, they're afraid of withdrawing, so they don't want to wait for that time if there is a way to emerge, so they often leave it. Um, there's a large black market for antibiotics right now on the street, and it doesn't necessarily mean they're picking the right, you know, drug for the right bug. So we're seeing a lot of end-stage complications that have lifelong effects for these patients. Um, some can end up with paralysis, long-term muscle issues, chronic pain, which only fuels addiction further. Um, we're also looking at accessing prevention. So, you know, some of the girls working uh, the streets right now are not accessing birth control, um, maybe also having issues with trauma, mental health. Um, we've been told that there's girls since it was 14 years old, um, selling themselves entirely for as much as $10. Um, so by being available, being out there, we're hoping that we provide a stigma-free, non-judgmental, you know, access point of care where when they're ready, we're ready for them. And if they're not, we can help them with what they're presenting with initially. And next time around, we build that relationship and we're happy to help even further. So we're hoping that we can present early, present in a you know, non-confrontational, non-judgmental way where um, we can help improve uh, quality of life. And the clinic's right downtown, so you're located yeah. literally Simpson and Donald Street right in the corner, right in the heart of uh, downtown yeah. Fort Williams issues. Even, even that we're lo located downtown, we do have some presentations um, that we know, you know, through other patients or their friends that will come into clinic, but we still, there's still that barrier because it is a health center, so you're still going to miss a large uh, population who's worried about coming in or being identified or not wanting people to know that they're using, um, or, you know, someone who's had trauma may not want to come in and you know initially present for that you know access to care because they're humiliated or shamed about you know events that have happened to them or where they're sitting in their life by having that point of care access on the street it takes away that barrier so it allows people to meet to see um, and it also shows that all human life is valuable and not to so each of those patients have potential and you know we recognize that and we're happy to be a part of their care it's actually quite an honor thank you very much